Hi, Silly Moustache here. A recent thread on a guitar forum asked about our gear. By that, I understood that they weren't talking about our guitars as such, or our instruments, but the bits and pieces that we take along. <coughs> I did a very shaky video of this some time ago, and so I'm just going to update that now that um, open mics and folk clubs and things are starting to open up again. So, um, what's the first thing I'm going to take? Well, I'm going to take the guitar, and I just happen to have <laughs> a guitar here, and so I'm going to open this up, see what's inside, and undo all the buckles. And, oh yes, there is a guitar. And um, I forgot one of the props, so I'll just add that in. So I'm gonna take the guitar out, and what do I see in the strings there? I see this little dwadget, which is a Music Nomad a hydrometer. I don't know whether you can see that very clearly. Um, it is, uh, it's a very good hydrometer. It tells me that there's 54% humidity today and, um, and it's 72 degrees. So I'm going to put my guitar aside for a moment. Very gently there, so it doesn't fall over. And what else is going to be in the case? Well, one of the things I'm going to see in the case is a strap. I make all my own straps. This is a two inch strap and I've written my name on the front just in case I forget who I am. I am that sort of age now. And that is fitted um, with a shallow strap lock at the end of the heel. At the end of the heel, yes. Uh, a lot of people don't like the idea of that. And Collings guitars have rather thin, slender heels but I've never had a problem. I don't need to have um, a strap that uh, is, is variable in, in length because I know exactly what I want, so that's what I make for myself. So, one strap, okie doke, one hydrometer, and let's look inside. Oh, a microfiber cloth, just for wiping things down should things get mucky. And so, three little boxes. So, these three little boxes are very important. The first one is my Princess Mary box. I go on about these a lot. Princess Mary box or tin. Tin, ironically, because it's made of brass. It's heavy, it's profound, and it has a certain value. And the reason for that was I wanted to work out how I could keep my blue chip pick safe, not losing it. Don't want to just put it in the strings or something like that. So have a, 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 a box with some value to keep my valuable pick in. Plus, of course, my capo, a simple C1 Shub capo, and a Vagan TF140, which is my second choice. And that always stays in the case. The second thing is a little toolbox, which has a little um, uh, string winder, a little multi-tool with screwdrivers and a little knife and things like that. A nail file and a spare CO, CR2032 battery and a, a little business card. Which I see is out of date now. <laughs> Never mind. And the third thing is my tuner. I always used to use the Dario small clip-ons, but I've changed from those got a box full of them somewhere now, to the TC Electronics Unitune. I really like these things. They are a little larger than I would like, but you can read them very well in all light uh, levels, and they're very quick and they're very accurate. And so what I've done, because I'm that kind of guy, is I've modified the little card box that they come in with a little bit of leather and Andy written across it, so it's mine. Okay, so there we are. <clears throat> now, that's what's in the case. What else do I take? Well, I take my little gig bag. This is my gig bag. I have a bigger one for other occasions, but this would normally contain my 
song file. Yes, I know, it's very bulky. And I do take this out with me on occasions. There's over 150 songs in there. And because I'm so very, very old, I don't remember all the arrangements, all the keys, all the second verses and things like that. But if I'm going to something where I know I'm going to have a limited number, I would select the numbers ahead of time and put it in a much smaller folder like that. Yes, I would like to electrify this and put it on an iPad. The, um, the logic and the facility defeats me at the moment, sadly. Uh, the other thing that I always have is a, a guitar stand. This is the latest version of the um, Koenig & Mayer k and uh, Healy 2. I have a lot of Healy 1s, which are perfectly good. This one folds up a little bit easier and quicker. And uh, it does the job. And so my guitar isn't going to fall over by just being lent against something. And because of all this lot, I have to have a music stand. Yes. There is a right way and a wrong way to use a music stand when you're standing up or seated and entertaining your audience. Let me just show you what I do with my stand here, my rat stand, which I've had to modify. I use a bit of a, an old stand and a new stand and I have it at about waist height or a little bit uh, like that so I can glance down at it but it doesn't separate me from the audience so they can see me my ugly mug my guitar playing and when I think what is the first line of that second verse oh yes right yes I'm old but I can still just about focus at arm's length and that's what I do for that so this is folded up and it's put into that uh, that bag there and that goes with me. And what's the other vital thing? What's the other vital thing? I do not drink alcohol if I'm um, going to a club uh, because A, I don't want to be tipsy when I'm up there playing and anyway, I've probably got to drive there and back. And being me and having to lubricate my throat all the time, I always have a small bottle of cold still water. So that's it. That's that's what old Andy takes to a gig. Plus maybe some flyers for my club, something like that. So I hope that's of interest to you. I'd really like to know what you think of this little collection of goods and uh, what you take with you. I haven't talked about electronics. Um, if I... And when I run my club, I uh, I use I have a Bose L1, very very basic, and I use one large condenser microphone. That's all. Um, but usually, when I'm going to someone else's club, I don't need that sort of stuff. So there you are. So what do you use? Uh, what do you like in preference to one of these things or any of these things? Let me know. If you have been, thanks for watching. Bye. The long arm of the guitarist.